Hi, it's Vicki, and I'm back to share an album that I just finished for my niece. It's a baby book for her son, Avery. I use these waterfall sleeves from We Are Memory Keepers, and they're actually plastic, and they actually came out really well. They worked really well in this book. I usually use paper, but paper seems to bulk the book up more. I also use this Zodiac paper from DCWV along with various other papers that I already had on hand. I covered the book with this material that feels like leather, but if you flip it over, it's actually material and it's a stretchy material that is, I think it's polyester. So that's what I wrapped the book in. And then I used various metal pieces to attach these straps that are actual leather. And then I put his name in a book plate. The theme is dragons in space. And each page is a pocket that she can record all of Avery's firsts, his height, weight, all those things that you record in a baby book. This isn't your average baby book. And the paper is quite thick, so I gave her an extra magnet in here. So if she puts something over this, she'll have a magnet to be able to have behind it so that we'll hold this closed. Here are the plastic sleeves from We Are Memory Keepers, and you pull it out from here. This is two by two. She could put the baby bracelet from the hospital or a lock of hair when he gets his first haircut. These fold up or flip up. Now here is a paper waterfall that you can see is quite bulky in the book. Let me just show you from the side. You can see how it bulks up. And then once she puts pictures in there or tries to put any kind of writing, if she decides she doesn't want to write on the red and put a white piece of paper there, it'll bulk it up even more. And this whole thing comes down. another pocket. And because it is a baby book, I did some cute stuff in there. Artistic license. This is the Tim Holtz Rupert. It just says peekaboo, and I gave him a space helmet. I cut that with my Cricut. This was also from the Cricut. more of the plastic sleeves. These were a little easier to put in. I just cut one slit here, whereas the other ones I lined them up in the center and cut a slit for each piece. This one, you come in from here to pull the paper out to either write on it or slip a picture in there. There are quite a few magnets in this but some of the magnets wouldn't hold down these corners. The paper's really thick, so I used a swivel tab. And again, here's the plastic sleeves. And you can see I slit each one 
and these come from the back also. There's a compass. This was paper I had on hand. It looks like you can't really see it. This looks like leathery skin, like a dragon. And another pocket. I'm hoping this will help her navigate this book a little better, a little easier, to see how each of these fold in. This accordion's all the way out, and it's quite long, so I won't do it all the way. It's just this paper. And I added some embellishments. And another. It's just paper I had on hand. Now these last pages, along with the very first page, I created the papers for it. Not these, but these. It was white paper that I took different color inks and I put it all over the paper and then I used some water to do a color lift and then I took a white pen and put some white dots on it to make it look like stars because I was running out of the paper that came in the paper pack. So here's the end result. I hope she likes it and it was exciting to make this for her. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. If you have any comments, leave them below.